and that's where we're going. We're not far from the cave now. It's over there. It's maybe about 300 meters or so. But as you can see, it's a bit rugged. And that's a canyon over there. And we're going to camp just straight ahead of us Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You may recognize this location. Maybe in two, maybe three months ago I have been here as well. But I was staying in a different rock overhang. And I came here just to figure out how to reach this particular camp cave. And back then I was quite determined to come back soon to stay here overnight. Which I'm going to do tonight. So here we are. As you could see from the clips walking in this area, there was a lot of clouds hanging over the ranges, so it was fairly wet walking in. At the moment, it's not really rain, but again, the clouds hanging around these higher rock formations it causes some precipitation, but it is quite light, so not a biggie. Let's have a look what's more out here. So you got these shallow cavities. So if you're with a larger party, you could sleep here, although nothing is really level. So it's not going to be really comfortable. And here is the bathroom. shower So as you can see it's not level here so it's not really a place you're gonna camp with a tent all you need though is a maybe a ground sheet sleeping pad and a sleeping bag and as I spotted last time this looks like the best spot in the house so I brought a beefy bag with me so I'm gonna use that tonight that should be good Thank you. 
walked around the camp cave and I found this trail that's going up and I think there's another way to get to the camp cave I'm going to follow it a little bit more up see where it leads to so this is interesting this is very interesting <laughs> So I explored a little bit the area near the cave that we're going to stay but I found another way to, that leads to that cave and I will show that in a moment at the left hand side of the cave there is a trail that leads um, to I'm not sure that's the eastern side of the cave but it goes all around to this very rocky formation so there's obviously the cave that we're going to stay the night but I explored to the left of it the trail that goes around this whole rock formation comes out there and it continues Yeah, quite some spectacular views even on a cloudy misty day like today
So what I created here is what they call a Swedish torch. It's obviously in a very simple way of creating some sort of stove by splitting the timber, hauling it out a little bit, creating a fire inside it and once the uh, embers inside that's when you can start using it for cooking. Well, I'm on my way out, back to the car, so I'm wrapping up this video. As you have noticed from the footage, the weather has been a bit different than normal. A lot of clouds hanging over the ranges. But I really enjoy this weather. I like the mist. And it was quite cool, around the 10 degrees Celsius. It was a little bit tricky, it was wet obviously, and some of the rock was quite slippery. So I had to uh, be mindful of that. But otherwise, everything went well. I enjoyed staying in that cave. But again, it's not a cave where you can stay with a large party, a single person, probably. It's only one small section that's reasonable level. The rest is all sloping. I'm standing here actually in the middle of the cloud. It's uh, drizzling, actually changing to uh, light rain. So I better move on. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And I hope to see you next time. Ciao.